we are unique that we're tobacco dependent farmers that have diversified into grape growing and the wine business. We converted these buildings that we already had into the winery facility and then our tobacco barn is where we, we call it the party barn where, where we have our concerts. Uh, the little tasting room was a, uh, was a buggy shed. Last count I think we've had at least 22 wines which is not unusual in the Midwest, but we want something that people will enjoy, whether it's a uh, dry red that we're very happy with. The Burley is probably the wine, a dry red that we're most proud of right now. Uh, it's a blend of three different grapes. And then we have an estate Vidal, which is a semi-sweet uh, that is excellent. And then we're doing uh, two, three other dry whites and uh, three other dry reds, and then we have blush wines and uh, sweeter wines, and we're just releasing a Merlot we've never made before, and then we have a dry uh, rosé that we're releasing. So, uh, you know, when you make something and it may take you up to three or four years to sell it, it's a lot of pressure, but um, that's, I enjoy that. Uh, we meet a lot of really nice people. Uh, we have a lot of folks come through here, and uh, so it, it's, you know, if they enjoy what you do, whether you're a good chef or uh, making wine or anything, it really makes you feel good about what you're doing.